Hi everybody, I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to show you how I get from this to this. I've included some new products, the lipstick, the eyeshadows, the falsies. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure you click on that ring bell button. This way you will be notified every time I'm posting a new video. And if you'd like to see how I've created this look, then please keep on watching. I've been using this base, I think in the last four videos, and it's one of my favorites, so I've just used that. I'm not gonna show you how. You just apply it on the face. It smells amazing, very hydrating. I would recommend it for dry, combination, normal skin type. I don't think I would recommend it for oily skin type. Next, foundation. I'm going to mix a 4 and 3.5 Armani Luminous Silk. I put my foundation on this little candle holder. This is a great foundation for daytime, also for nighttime. It's buildable, can be applied with your fingers, with a brush or with a beauty blender. I recommend to be applied with your fingers. This way you're gonna save some product. I'm done applying the foundation, now I'm going to move on with some contouring. It's been a while. I'm going to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick. This is in shadow and I'll take it with a Morphe a G40 brush. It looks like this. I know it's kind of gray, but when you're contouring, basically that's the color that you're going for. And I'm applying this a tiny little bit on the perimeters of my face, like so. Then with a beauty blender, I'm blending the edges Next is concealer, which I'm going to use also as a corrector for uh, these blemishes right here. I will use Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium Honey. I'm using this concealer in this color in the hollows of my eyes. Did anybody have that this part filled? That is so popular in here, like a lot of people are doing it. But I've actually seen on YouTube the way the procedure is done. And it's just scary for me. If there is anybody who did it and it wor and if it worked, let me know. Also, if it was painful, I would really like to know that. Make sure you cover this spot right here. That's where we usually are darker. I will apply the same concealer on my chin just to give the illusion that's a little bit bigger. Now I make sure that there's no product that creased. Laura Mercier powder with this brush from Hakuhodo. I also applied some powder where I've applied that contour, the contour stick. Very important because in the same place, I'm going to apply bronzing powder. And you don't want to have that place being sticky because then the bronzing powder is going to look muddy. So make sure you powder. Next, I am taking the Hoola Bronzer from Benefit. I'm going to apply it with the B104 brush from Hakuhodo. And I'm applying the powder pretty much in the same place where I've applied the uh, contour stick. So I'm going to take this peach blur and I will apply it pretty much all over my face. This is a translucent smoothing finishing powder. I will apply it with this Hakuhodo B110 brush. Then I will take this uh, highlighter. This is from NARS. It has a really good mirror. That's why I'm using it all the time. This is in Fort de France. It's so pretty. Anastasia a23 brush and I'm gonna apply it on the highest points of my face a little bit on the chin Cupid's bow I'm also gonna apply it down the bridge of my nose with my finger I'll just take it like that Now I'm going to do my eyebrows off the camera. And by the way, if you want me to do an updated um, eyebrow tutorial, please let me know and I will do that. I will apply some of that concealer. I'll just take the t uh, light medium and apply it right under my brow bone. A 
what's left on that concealer brush i will apply it on the rest of my eyelid but a very very tiny amount next i will set that concealer with some powder translucent powder from the iconic london palette i'll take bellini right here this is such a sweet color i'll take the same color on the outer corner of my eye and on the lower lash line now i'm going to go with this color right here called wonderland and i will apply it all over my mobile lid i'm applying the same color here in the inner corner these are pigmented and a tiny little bit under my brow bone just a touch now i will take deep soul right here with a 238 brush from Zoeva and I'll apply it right at the outer corner with that same eyeshadow and the same brush I also apply you see there is already a natural shadow right here with me I'm deepening up I'm applying that, then I come with a clean blending brush and I blend it. Straight up black eyeshadow with a tiny little brush, looks like this. And apply it at the base. My eye. Come with a blending brush and I blend everything together. I think I'm gonna wear red on the lips, like deep red. I'm going to use mascara Better Than Sex from Too Faced. I want to apply a really bright red lipstick. This is the Powder Puff lipstick from NYX. And I have to tell you, this is amazing. It really feels like powder lipstick. And look at this color. Without my glasses, you know, I kind of want to very heavily overline my lips. This is one of the most beautiful red color lipstick that I've tried. So guys, this gorgeous color, it's called Group Love. For the cheeks, I'm going to apply Ofra in Apricot with a Hakuhoto B110 brush on the apples of my cheeks. This is such a colorful makeup. Love this lip color. This is so extra. Mascara on the lower lashes. It's a must for me. This is Extended Play Chica Black Lash from MAC. Guys, you should know that every single product that I mention, you can find it in the description box. I will be applying House of Lashes in Iconic Light, and I've probably cut half of them. Alright, let me set everything with Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I don't know what I love more about this spray, the fact that it's spraying continuously or the product itself. <laughs> I guess both. Okay guys, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please help me out, figure out what tutorial should I do next? What kind of look would you like to see? I'm planning on filming a tutorial about how I am washing my brushes, 
how I take care of them. Would you like a video like that with all the information about how I take care of my brushes? Please leave me a comment and let me know. That would be very, very helpful for me. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to my channel and that you've also hit on that ring bell button so you will be notified every time I'm posting a new video. And you can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!